Hi, this is Luke Zip at Crocker Farm Auction, and I wanted to show you this picture that we have coming up in our November 3rd Stoneware and Redware Auction. Uh, as you can see, it's a one-gallon pitcher. On the one side, it's really cool, it's July 4th, 1833, uh, flanking a tree. It's a, a slip-trailed cobalt oxide. Do you see that mark? And then on the other side, it's got the name of the potter, Evan G. Ricketts. And uh, we were very thrilled to get this. A gentleman in Minnesota sent us a photograph of this about three weeks before our consignment deadline. And uh, I did some research and found out that Evan G. Ricketts was a potter operating in Maysville, Kentucky. Uh, the first document I found was fairly simple. It was the 1850 uh, federal census. And I found he was listed as a potter in Maysville, Kentucky. So we were thrilled. Uh, we, we contacted the gentleman and said that this would make an outstanding example for our auction. Um, I did some more research and found out that uh, Evan Ricketts had been in Maysville uh, beginning at least as early as 1812. Uh, that was when his first child was born, and he was born in Maysville, Kentucky. Uh, but really, a couple of noted ceramic scholars contacted us after the catalog was published and gave us some more exciting information. See, Maysville Stoneware hasn't been researched uh, incredibly thoroughly. There's no great book out there on Maysville Stoneware. Uh, there's a noted churn in the collection of MESDA, the Museum of Early Southern Decorative Arts, uh, with a slip trailing very similar to this, and that is actually dated 1836. So this is three years earlier than that. And, uh, I believe then this makes this the earliest known dated piece of Kentucky stoneware. So a very exciting example of uh, southern stoneware. Um, and that was made by Isaac Thomas. Uh, Thomas is the only early Maysville stoneware potter that people really uh, know about widespread. There was also a potter, Joseph Claghorn Mendel, and they're known as really the, uh, the patriarchs of the Maysville stoneware potting school. Uh, but the cool thing was the Ricketts family was right there with them. Uh, Evan G. Ricketts, the potter on this, his father was named Ruliff Ricketts, and uh, he traveled, he was born in Cecil County, Maryland, traveled to Clark County, Kentucky, probably in the 1780s, was there till the early 1800s where uh, they relocated to Maysville. Uh, the first record linking the Ricketts family with the Th Thomas family, uh, and I, I thank the ceramic scholars, an 1809 marriage between uh, Evan's sister, Sarah Ricketts, to Isaac Thomas. So this potter, Evan G. Ricketts, was the brother-in-law of the noted potter, Isaac Thomas. But it gets uh, more interesting in that in 1820, Mary Ann Ricketts, uh, another sister of Evan, married uh, Joseph Claghorn Mendel. So th uh, this gentleman right here was a brother-in-law of the two uh, patriarchs of Maysville stoneware production and probably worked closely with them. But then the exciting thing also is uh, you see this really interesting uh, slip trailed name here. You see the R on Ricketts is very um, you know, embellished. And that uh, really the, this type of script, this type of application relates to the Isaac Thomas churn in the collection of Mesta. Uh, so it's very possible that Evan Ricketts decorated that churn, or the decorator of that churn, uh, maybe a third party, decorated this picture. Uh, so it's really an exciting um, example of Maysville stoneware, probably the only piece bearing a Ricketts family signature. They're really an unknown um, you know, founding fathers of Maysville, Kentucky stoneware, and we were thrilled to get this picture.